Greetings, it's Ian from RTO here. Welcome to a new album review as we do on Fridays on the channel. Normally the album comes out one week and I review it the next. Can't give it a good review after only listen to it twice. So today's new album um, is from the Black Crows. And the album is called Happiness Bastards. But it will be refueled to us from now on as Barstools. Um, they were formed in Atlanta in 1984 by brothers Chris and Rich Robinson. Now Chris is, does lead vocals and Rich plays guitar. And they were called Mr. Crow's Garden. Then they went through the series of early personnel changes, settling on a lineup that include Jeff Cease on guitars, Johnny Colt on the bass, and Steve Gorman in Steve Gorman on the drums. Now this band have broke up th <laughs> three times. <laughs> so when they reformed in 2019, uh, you've still got uh, Chris and Rich. Uh, bassist Sven Pippin that's been with the band a long time as well and new members uh, Nick Barry Carter on guitar Cully Simmonson on drums and Eric Dusch or Deutsch on keyboards and this is the band that recorded the album Happiness Bar Stools it's their ninth album and it came out last week it's their first album of new material since 2009's Before the Frost Until We Freeze. Yes, we are going to be doing Black Crows later in the year. So, as I said, we have got Chris Robinson, lead guitar, vocals, harmonicas and percussion. Rich Robinson, guitar, backing vocals. Sven Pippin on the bass. Extra guitars is Nico. Cully on the drums and Eric on the keyboards. So the first track is called Bedside Manners. Great sort of southern rock grind with a little bit more oomph. Uh, great, I love this. A little bit of piano in there. It's a great vocal from Chris. Good start. Rats and Clowns. Again, that distinctive opening riff that you get from this style of music. You get it from the choir boys as well. It's just, I love that. It's just, it's just a great sound. Chris on fire again. Cross your fingers. Solid track. Great bass line here from Sven. Really, it's got a groove. You've got some lovely drumming from Cully. He's been, only been in the band a year, but he's a really good drummer. Do like that. Um, Wanting and Waiting, one of my favourite tracks on here. It's just got that solid rock and roll heavy riff. A little bit of piano in there from Eric. It, it really adds to it. It's a strong track. Wilted Roses next, which features singer Lainey Wilson. It's a bit country because um, Lainey's a country singer. Uh, it's got that lovely sort of country feel to it, gentle, and a great duo that she does with Chris. I do like that. Dirty old, dirty cold sun, brilliant. This seems to be a bit of a sort of homage to Leonard Skinner and Steve Gaines, and the, you know when they had the girls in the band as well. Uh, it's it's a really good track. It's got that wonderful feeling. It doesn't say who does the backing vocals, but I love it. It's a great track. Bleed It Dry, my favourite on here. Um, it's a bluesy rock and roll number. Chris has got the harmonica out. And it's great. I do love that. Flesh Wound. Well, oh, Cully's on film on the on the drums. Cully Simington. You know, he, t he toured with them. He tours with them and plays. He's not a full member, but boy does he add his six penneth on this track. Absolutely solid track. Follow the Moon. Just good old style. Rock and roll. As Chris, it sounds as great as he did back in the day. He's, it's a little bit deep, his voice. But it's still strong and it doesn't wane at all. 
Kindred Friend, I'm not keen on this one. It's a bit of a filler. Uh, I don't know if Chris was having a rough day, but it does sound a little rough, or is it a last-minute track? I don't know. But it's the one that actually lets the album down a bit. Um, that was the last track. Okay, 15 years since the last album. You always wonder, oh, will it be as good as they were in the day? Yeah, it is. Um, Chris sounds great. The new band sound good. You know, uh, you know. I hope this band is around a little bit for a bit longer and, and try not fall out. Um, that's the only thing with Black Crows. They fall out with each other very easy. Um, made some great music. Um, I do like this band and I've really enjoyed listening to this and it made me go back and listen to some of their previous stuff and listening to it, it just fits in nicely with it. Um, don't know where it else sits but I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 7.5. Okay, um, up next we've got a one-off one -off album review. Uh, this time it's just to tidy up the pub rock thing we've done, uh, Nick's, Lowe's, Stuart Solo, Dave Edmonds. So you can't do that without looking at Rock Pile and Seconds of Pleasure. So that's what's coming up next. Bye for now. <laughs> 